Okay, so before we get too far invested in this video, let me just tell you a few things. Um, first of all, this video itself is a direct response to the other one I posted about the unturned turn YouTuber experience and the issues I talked about in there. So if you watch that video, this video will clear up a lot of questions and concerns that that one brought up. Um, and secondly, I understand if you don't have enough time to watch this video, so I'll give you a brief summary about what's in it. Um, so basically, to summarize, yes, Nelson does care about his game and he is working hard to both maintain 3.0 and work on 4.0. Um, no, 4.0 is not around the corner, but there may be a playable beta in the near future. No guarantees, though. He did take notice of everyone's thoughts and opinions, and he wanted to address them all personally in this video. We did actually do an interview, and most of this video is just going to be that. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments. And if you think you have anything important to say directly to Nelson, either consider reaching out to the forums or write a well-written letter to him to his email. He did say that he checks this semi-frequently and you might get your voice heard and added to the roadmap, but with that being said, don't spam him with just nonsense. He said he was only looking for constructive criticism for his game and how to make it better. So with all that being said, um, I'm going to get straight into the interview we did and I will talk about some more stuff at the end of the video. Alright, so if you want to introduce yourself for the video or whatever. Uh, hello, I'm Nelson. I made Unturn, sort of, and now I'm working on Unturn 4. Gotcha. That's not a very good intro. I should try, uh... <laughs> it's all good, man. So, I, I got, like, um, like a rough draft of, like, some questions ready to go. So, I, I don't know, I guess I'll just get right into it, and then if you have anything else you want to talk about after that, we can do that. Um, okay. so, the first question I have was, like, what has been the biggest challenge in developing Unturn 4.0 so far? Um... I think one thing that's been difficult is kind of being happy with the things that I've actually finished so far. I think I've been kind of redoing and I really want to make sure that the first version is really good. Uh, uh -huh. Like yesterday, I posted a blog post about how the character skeleton has kind of been revised. I think I've posted four versions, but there's been like six or seven now. Gotcha. Um, and so I think things are slowly coming together towards what I think I'll be happy to release. But ultimately, I think I want Unturned 4 to be something I can work on for years and years and support over a really long time and so i want the foundation to be very strong gotcha so it's just like a lot of like the tweaks and changes over like making the final product itself right mm -hmm. and even then it'll still change based on feedback once it's actually out yeah so if like people are like oh yeah we really want this to be different or something like that you'll like change it accordingly or i think it kind of, that kind of depends i think one thing that's kind of come up as unturn 3 has gone on longer is people feeling like i accepted too much feedback yeah, that because you can't, changed. you can't, like, make everyone happy, or else no one ends up happy, yeah. in, in a way, which I, which I, I get, so. I think, um, sorry to clarify there, so some things, like, um, like, things will be improved based on feedback and stuff, I think at this point it's more about making sure that the foundations allow for a lot of different directions, like, um, when, it's really hard to change three at this point, uh, like, yeah. the items, there's no information about, like, per item instances, so for three, or for four, I've been, uh, trying to make that a very general design, so that if people say, I want to be able to rename my items or paint them or put yeah. like a ghillie wrapping on my gun. Like I want to have all that open and designed well from the start. Whereas gotcha. that'd be like impossible to add now to three. Mm -hmm. Since it's already so far like developed. Yeah. Okay, so that was the first one. Um, the second one, do you plan on making 4.0 like a open playable beta like you did for 3.0, or is it just going to be like a full release instead? I definitely want to do a beta. Right now, what I'm thinking is that there'll be the first version that's kind of send out some Steam keys to a few people and make sure that it's like working properly and get any initial feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't want to just stick it up completely public on Steam right away because I think that would have the problem of then a lot of people would come and play it without realizing that it's so early on. Yeah. So what I'm thinking right now is that it'll be maybe like a gold members beta kind of thing initially. Um, just that way so that it's like a community of players that have been with the game for a long time. Yeah, and that know what they're... Know what so that like the people that know what they're in for. Do you think it would be exclusive to like just gold members or like people with only a certain amount of hours or... I'd like to give it to people that have a certain amount of hours. I mean, it would be great to be able to give it to everyone that's like played over a thousand hours or something. Yeah. Or... Um, uh, the 
difficulty is that um, the way Steam set up is that there's different packages. And so like if you bought gold, you own the gold package. If you got Unturned for Free on Steam, you have the free Steam package, but there's yeah. not really a way to give it based on hours. Uh, gotcha. So it would be adding it to the gold package and then adding a new gold package so that new purchasers don't okay. get it. Um, but I mean, I might be able to set up some way to get it based on the amount of time you've played. Uh, mm-hmm. That would be more complicated. Though. Yeah, like I think that would be fair. That'd be like a real incentive for people to get gold to like experience what you're working on now, you know? Um, uh, although one thing I want to note is that um, it would be only existing gold members. It wouldn't be like a purchase so gold you, now to yeah. get access to it. Yeah. So like if you just like got into Unturned and you got like four hours in the game, like you couldn't just buy gold to get into it. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, okay. So the next question I had was what would be the main aim for players to do in 4.0? Like, would it be more story related this time or would it just be like mainly open survival kind of like how it is now? I do want to have more story aspects. Some of the things I've been thinking about that could be uh, kind of nice story wise would be to have some uh, like kind of co-op things like Left 4 Dead style. Yeah. Um, I think obviously I don't want 4 to be a giant war on public servers like it is in 3. I mean, yeah. I think that's one thing that having official servers will really help with is there'll be like a defined vanilla experience that you can come back to without abusive admins, without um, like losing your progress between servers kind of thing. Yeah, um, that... So I do want to kind of go back to, if you remember like the Entrant 2 beta, the early Entrant 3 beta, I kind of want to go back to the OG um, days. <laughs> yeah. And I want to like kind of delve down into the into adding more depth to all the game's mechanics rather than adding like more guns, more guns, more guns. I want to yeah. go and add a whole bunch of new things like to every system. Uh, like crafting shouldn't just be like get the stuff and click a button. There should be more to it than that, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like one of the other questions was um, whether there would be dedicated like 3.0 servers, which I, I'm not sure if you would be considering that since like it's you're putting most of your efforts into 4.0 and the new things but um yeah i think like 4.0 servers could be really cool because like you said they're like you could get away from the people that just host a server so they feel like they can do whatever they want and you could get away from like cheaters and that kind of stuff if you have like a dedicated server i don't think a uh, three official servers will be a thing unfortunately um i think later this year there might be something kind of cool in that area that i can't talk about right now but it relates to any anyway i shouldn't talk about anyway um for four though um i do want to have official servers for the reasons you're saying uh, uh-huh. Although I'll still have like the ability to host your own servers, like you'll be able to just run the server program. The server program is going to be a lot easier to use as well compared yeah. to three. Uh, as well as uh, some really cool things that are going to be supported is just from running the game, you can go to the main menu and click host server in game, mm-hmm. and then people can just connect to you. Like it'll be so much easier. Uh, as well as split screen multiplayer, so you can host your server locally. You can add your split screen friend with their controllers so that you're playing split screen, and then people can still join you. So you can have three people playing together with two computers. So if you um, want just like the experience of playing with your friends then you can do that relatively easily yeah so i want to make that really easy um so i think that'll make it a lot easier to play together uh but then there'll also be the official servers um and one thing that i really want to do but might be too complicated to do for a while is i was thinking like obviously one thing i've talked about is i don't want to have a whole bunch of skins again where there's like people running around with burning hats yeah i think um like there's a lot of cool cosmetics that it would be cool to be able to find in game instead of having to get them on the steam market Instead of Uh, having to, like, pay for one or win it out of a box. Yeah, so one thing I was thinking is that as a way for the game to, like, support development, I mean, obviously, it's there's a lot of expenses associated with making the game, which are covered by three right now, Mm -hmm. um, is I think it'd be neat to have something kind of like Minecraft Realms, where you can rent a server directly through me, and then that would have a lot of benefits uh, in terms of uh, maintenance and making sure it works well. And uh, so that's another thing in terms of multiplayer that I'm considering. That'd be cool. So another question I got from another YouTuber was um, a lot of, if not all of like 3.0 servers now, they're like pretty much unregulated, right? Like if you want to do like slash I slash kits, whatever you want to do, where you don't even have to do anything to get gear, like a sandbox server, um, it's pretty much unregulated now. Do you think it's going to be more regulated for 4.0? So not every server is like TPA home kits, like, you know, that kind of whole deal, or is it going to be like more restricted? For the official servers, I don't want to have anything like that in 4. And Mm. I think if the game is better designed for survival, I think that will help encourage people to play the game. The way um, it was meant to be played. Yeah, the way it was meant to be played. I think the fact that there are so many people who do play that, though, means that there's obviously people who who enjoy that. Uh, So it's not like I would have a rule or anything. Like, I don't want to have any rules about servers. Servers can do whatever they want. I think when companies try and step in and enforce things on their game servers, that generally ends badly. So I don't want to, like, 
say what you can and cannot do. Yeah, I um, gotcha. But but like the official thing is they'll be more geared towards like vanilla in like just the true you know like experience. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. So far, what's the thing you're most proud of in Unturned 4.0? I've been really excited with a lot of the animation stuff. I think. Uh, Obviously, that's something I posted about yesterday, so it's on my mind too. But I think animations have been something I've never been very happy with in 3. Like, it's very, very simple in 3. A lot of the animations look bad. But I think in 4, I'm excited to have all the animations where things like uh, mm-hmm. taking your magazine out of your gun and actually seeing it in your hand and seeing the parts of different things move. Yeah. Uh, and then I also want to kind of expand on that with um, animations interacting with the environment. So I want you to be able to see your hand reach out and open the door as you're going into a building uh, be without cool. being another thing like having doors and buildings rather than just empty doorways everywhere. Yeah. So and I then, it builds more immersion and that kind of thing yeah that'd be cool i think i'm also pretty happy with the inventory system i think it's really cool to have all the additional details about the stats of the item and the 3d preview and how you uh, a lot of the inventory systems are a lot easier to use now that's cool so like you can um say you have an ammo box in your inventory you can actually like open it and store stuff in that box yeah there's uh the boxes that you can open and then also one of the things with the ammo sorting there is um apparently something soldiers do in real life is putting tracer rounds at the start of the magazine Mm -hmm. and so right now the magazines are set up where it's a list of the different ammo types in it and so then you can kind of drag those around and you could put like one bullet that's tracer one normal one norm one like armor piercing bullet Uh, armor piercing bullets aren't implemented yet just to clarify that um but you can sort those however you like so a lot of different inventory features so there'd be a lot more like customizability in terms of like just um i don't know like magazines or just whatever in general so like you could put different stuff in different containers and just carry them out into your inventory yeah i think everything in the inventory is going to be a lot more customizable like uh one thing that i've also been thinking about this also isn't implemented yet but um having attachments for clothing items so for example there's the molly rucksack which i think it it has something to do with modular that's what the name stands for Mm -hmm. um and so being able to attach different pouches and bags to your bag as well as being able to attach like night fishing goggles to your helmet um, that's cool all those kind of different like the attachment system shouldn't be just guns everything should use the attachment systems batteries and flashlights yeah everything yeah i like that concept it should be pretty cool thanks um let's see so I saw that you've like made trailers for like new 3.0 maps. Do you have any plans to like make a 4.0 trailer like anytime soon, or is that something further in the future? Uh, right now, I'm not planning to make any trailers for four. Although uh-huh. I think it'll be a lot easier with the new uh, spectator features and replays and stuff uh-huh. uh, for three. Though the trailers for Carpet and um, Athens, those were made by Dana B and Battlecut. Yeah. So I, I wasn't involved in those. Gotcha, gotcha. Are you working on any other projects besides Unturned, or is like 4.0 your main focus at the moment? Um, right now, 3 is kind of my main focus again, because I've been cleaning a lot of stuff up. I think 4 is going to be my main focus from mid of August onwards. Um, right. Things keep coming up in 3 that I need to focus on, but I think the schedule yeah. is kind of clear at the moment. That's cool. So how large is like your development team? Like, Is it mostly just you, or do you have like a lot of people that help you like make new features? and stuff like that Uh, for four it's just me but for three there's uh yeah just me for four um and then three uh there's fen who does the rocket mod stuff that's all the plugins and mods for servers Mm -hmm. Um, i mean i don't work with him officially but he does a lot of uh, cool stuff for the game and then there's also a lot of community teams that have been making uh the maps that have come out recently um and so i haven't really been involved in that it's kind of i i help them up stuff and yeah uh, once the map's ready then we put it in the game for a bit so it's Um, mostly like just the the mod community like making all the other stuff like that like maps and that kind of mm-hmm. thing gotcha. yeah are you satisfied with unturned 3.0 and is there any decisions you've regretted during the development of it or are you pretty happy with how everything turned out um i think obviously three's changed a lot over t- over time yeah. i think it's not really my game anymore yeah um like it kind of drifted away from your original idea yeah gotcha i think for the most part i'm pretty happy with the updates i made for the game there's some updates i made that ended up getting reversed like there was the whole vote to kick feature yeah um, that was kind of a infamous add this Uh oh it got removed within a day <laughs> um i think vanilla unturned is pretty cool to kind of go back and check out every once in a while but obviously yeah. that's not what really gets played mm-hmm. yeah i think the community is just like taking it to a whole different like place of like oh just um 
it's all about the kills and the pvp whereas like the base game is like actually trying to survive and like yeah. build up like a like a base or whatever i think it's really cool to see some of the role play stuff as well like uh nilex has some really cool youtube videos of mm. um like kind of scripted RP yeah stuff. like I, I definitely think they have their own little section of like they can do whatever they want and make it interesting but for people like like the other half of the game that's like um based on like survival or base raids or whatever like it just gets kind of like stale after a while because like it's the same kind of stuff but just like different situations in a way so like i feel like that's like a big reason for a lot of hype for 4.0 and why everyone's like so excited for it Mm -hmm. especially especially for like the people that like that's their main thing to do yeah i definitely agree that i think the survival community is some of the most excited for four right mm-hmm. now and like the the role player community would also be excited for like all the new features and like the new animations and all the other like miscellaneous stuff that will be added just to give like more immersion more detail oh yeah i hope so <laughs> um let's see that's another question um so i saw that you made like a like a twitch shirt for like twitch streamers and that kind of thing do you have any plans to make like a youtuber thing or like an equivalent if so what would be like i don't know just like a base requirement to get one of those um so the twitch shirt was added a couple years ago i think Mm -hmm. um that was actually kind of tricky to get into the game because um i'm not sure if it's still that way but their their team was really busy so it was hard to get the agreement signed to put in the game Uh uh-huh uh, but the way the agreement for that worked is that only um, like active streamers uh, are allowed to receive it. Um, mm-hmm. I I looked at setting something up with YouTube. I mean, it would be cool to have a YouTube shirt in the game. Yeah. I think YouTube's approval process for getting their branding seemed a lot harder. I mean, with Twitch, I, I knew someone I'd talked to when Entrant first released. And so I talked to him and I said, hey, so where should we start with this? Mm-hmm. Uh, but YouTube, I mean, a lot of YouTubers are kind of frustrated with YouTube because it's hard to contact them about things like yeah. content ID and stuff. So I think it would be hard to get a YouTube shirt in the game, unfortunately. Yeah, their communication is very lacking, to say the least. And I also saw that, like, um, you made a mention of, like, street signs and maybe, like, content creators could get, like, something like that in the game. Um, I know, I, like, I know it's still, like, a base concept or whatever, but um, what do you think would be, like, the main deciding factor on whether or not, like, you would get, like, a sign or something in, like, the new 4.0? I think since there's a lot more street signs than there are things like billboards, I yeah. think it'll be a lot easier to add uh, street signs for different uh, active community members. Mm-hmm. I don't think it'll be specific to YouTube or Twitch or anything. It'll be uh, like, more like some of the most active members in the community. Yeah, gotcha. So, like, as long as, like, you're active and you're trying your best to do, like, I don't know, the best you can do for the untering community, like, you could pretty much, like, safely say that you'd have, like, a street sign or just, like, something to that, like, effect, or... Um... I think that's safe to say. Uh, hopefully, assuming that I'd seen your, the stuff you've been doing. I think yeah. I tried to stay pretty active, though. Uh, there's yeah. some people who are active that I think would deserve one, but I haven't added them because um, various... I, I don't know sure. what the word is. Like, um, like friendly list. Like, I don't necessarily want to direct like, people to them because of their content. If it, like, supports, like, something that's not really... I don't know. Or I, I, maybe a word is, like, rude stuff. I don't want to direct people yeah. to rude things. Like, like, not, like hateful stuff stuff like that yeah gotcha okay i and that's fair enough like that makes sense so mm-hmm um let's see oh when you first saw like my video on um the unturned youtuber experience like what were your uh, first thoughts on like when you saw the video like did you think it was like i don't know like just like a hateful thing or like a constructive thing or whatever um i think i saw it a day or two after it was posted i think someone linked me to it on twitter actually Mm -hmm. um i definitely didn't take it as hateful or anything and it definitely seems constructive um i think it's kind of a good subjective look at like how you and other entered content creators are kind of dealing with things right now. Yeah. I think I, I kind of expressed my initial impressions in the comment I made. I think I made that right after I finished listening through it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that um, losing interest in the game after playing for a really long time is kind of a natural thing. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have new stuff. And I think it was a lot easier when there was the new updates every week for three, mm-hmm. uh, which it hasn't been like that for a while. Yeah. I definitely want to go back to that with four. Uh, with four, I want to go back to, you know, weekly cool new things for the game and having a, a much quicker cycle of, um, of new stuff to keep people interested. Gotcha. Um, 
So it's def- not gonna it's not gonna be like just like full release and then like that's it. Like it'll be constantly like like changing in a way. Oh, definitely. I think the first release will be very similar to how Engine 3's first thing came out and it didn't really have very many features. It was more of like a mm-hmm. base foundation. And so once the first version's out, it'll be what does everyone think the most important direction to go in right now is? And I mean, whether that be the crafting or base building or... Mm-hmm. Um, and then gradually working on it over the years, similar to how 3 gradually got different features. I mean, I think after the first version of 3 came out, it was a month or two, and then there were zombies and cars and stuff. Yeah. And I think after after looking at your video, it was interesting to go look at the Steam reviews, and there's definitely a lot of posts that have like put the tank... Um, unturned revolution stuff yeah it's i think some of the comments are like um i mean all of them have the tank and then they say i think performance should be better or i think yeah there's too many crashes or Uh so some of them have kind of things that are harder to approach but others have more uh direct feedback and i think Uh um a lot of the more direct feedback is about uh the game's direction with kits and stuff Uh and so i mean while it doesn't help for the moment four is kind of the solution to that yeah but of course, a bit of a ways out. But like, just to get like a like a broad idea of like what people are thinking and like what their ideas are. Um, like, and of course, some of them are just like they leave the tank and then they don't even leave feedback because like they didn't really get the idea of it. But like, there's a few of them that I saw at least from my experience that are like really detailed, like eight paragraphs long of like all the stuff that they'd like to see different and like the changes they'd like to see and how it could be better. Um, if people have like feedback that you feel would be valuable or whatever where can they like reach out to you to like give you that feedback rather than just like the steam reviews in like the whole unturned tank kind of deal <laughs> i think if if anyone wants to send me emails or post on the forums or anything um mm-hmm. chances are I'll, I'll read through that i think um sometimes i'll get like a, a really long email that lists a lot of stuff and then i read through it and it's kind of hard to kind of reply to everything because then you know there'll be a yeah. really long conversation about everything which mm-hmm takes a lot of time but i think ultimately i try to collect all the information and uh then eventually it makes its way into like the roadmap or yeah um of course you can't like reply to everyone because there's just too many people but like just getting a like a broad idea of like how people are feeling is useful in a way Mm -hmm. gotcha it's like the same thing for like youtube and like how the viewers are like taking the videos and like game design is kind of it's kind of the same thing in a way yeah so um if you could expand your development team do you think you would or do you think you would just keep it to yourself because you have more control over it um i think like theoretically i could i mean i know sven is interested uh, he would be interested in working on the game and i mean i'm sure i could find people to help with other areas mm-hmm. i think it is really nice working on it solo because i have a lot of um control to pivot and quickly work on different things that need attention Mm -hmm. um like if there's a bug with the models i can go fix that or bug with some feature i can go fix that and um i can do all the different parts of working on a new thing which means it can come out really quickly like it's the first version of vehicles so i go make the first vehicle model i go rig it and do Mm -hmm. the animations and write the code for it Um, like you can just do stuff as it needs to be done yeah i saw a really interesting post the other day that was like uh you can add more pregnant women but it'll (laughs) still take nine months to give birth whatever (laughs) so i think i'm happy to just do it myself for now i got you i got you how many um revisions and like bug checks do you do before like posting like an update for like i don't know something new added like a new feature or something added into 3.0 Recently, that's been improved a bit. Uh, It used to be kind of work on the feature, make sure it works, test it in multiplayer, it's all good to go, upload it, and then there would be problems with like, oh, if you have a different server configuration, it doesn't work, or it doesn't work with uh, this different setup. um, And so then a couple months back, there was a lot of frustration with updates breaking stuff. Uh Um, So more recently, everything's been changed so that there's... um, I've got my laptop set up so that every time I make a change to the game, before I can put out the update, uh, the laptop will test it on the server automatically. It'll test features automatically. It'll uh, check all the files and see if there's any asset errors, uh, like looking for missing meshes or or different things. If there's like a crash, then it'll Mm -hmm. say, this crashed when it was doing this. We got to fix that. 
um, um, now it's a lot more thorough with um, trying to prevent broken updates from going out. Yeah. So it's a lot more, there's a lot more checks in place than it was like in the early development of 3.0. Is, like, Definitely. There's a lot more checks now than there were even a couple months ago. Oh yeah. Well, that's, that's good to hear. Yeah. Um, and that's something I want to improve on for 4 as well. Everything, not very many things in 3 were designed for testing, uh, as in like automated testing. Yeah. Uh, but for 4, I'm trying to design every feature in a way that uh, can automatically check itself to make sure that I didn't break something. Yeah, uh, gotcha. And so that way updates will be more stable. So there's not like, <laughs> there's not like the plate glitch that lasted for like months. Yeah. Where you could just glitch into a base. Definitely. So do you have like a rough estimate of how far developed 4 point oh is or like maybe a potential release date for like the beta or anything like that just to like i don't know reassure the people waiting or uh, unfortunately no estimate right now i think originally i was hoping i would put it out earlier this year and mm-hmm. things kind of were on track for that i mean i had the map done i had all the basic gunplay and inventory stuff done uh, unfortunately i kind of burned out uh like i was i was having a really hard time motivating myself to do anything and so i kind of had to take a bit of a break um and so there is kind of a version of the game that has like everything working. Like you can go into the menu, you can change your settings, you can load in and everything. Um, okay. But recently I've been redoing some of the things like the character skeleton and uh, improving the animations. So right now my hope is I'm thinking it might make more sense just to like bite the bullet and get a beta out. So mm-hmm. once the animations are up and running again, um, to maybe just have like a very simple thing that is technically a game and yeah. then start adding some of the gameplay back in like start getting the inventory back in start getting the map back in i'm not sure if that's what we'll do but i do want to get something playable out soon because i think that'll really help with uh it'll be more interesting for everyone and everyone will be able to feel like their voice is being heard more yeah um and it'll it's a lot more fun too to develop and be able to release stuff faster yeah. rather than like hey i made something a year later yeah i got you i got you so people will have like something just to do for the meantime while they wait mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people like checking back and seeing what's new each week. Yeah, of course, of course. Because the updates themselves are pretty interesting, but then there's some like, um, uh, oh, we added a, a gutter system to the house. It's like, because I remember I was on YouTube and everyone was freaking out over like, oh, the house has a hose now. And I was like, I mean, that's cool, but what, what's like the meat, you know? Like, what's the what's the big stuff going on behind the scenes, you know what I mean? For like <laughs> the, the dev blogs or whatever. Right. So I think uh, even then that's better than some of the entry three updates when I was still doing weekly entry three updates. And it was like, this week I added this new feature to the level editor. And then everyone's like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we want you to fix the bug, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, I'm sure it's hard managing like everything at once for like bugs and new features and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that is that is maybe a valid yeah. argument to have more people working on the game. But even then, I think there's a bit of a learning curve now to learn how to update the game. Yeah, too. I don't know. So I mean, I guess I'm looking through like what I got. That's that's pretty much like all of the questions I had like made. Is there anything else like you wanted to like talk about or tell people about the like 4.0 or 3.0 or whatever else you're working on or anything like that? Or did I cover everything and like the questions pretty well? I think you covered everything pretty nicely. I think. I um, think one thing is, uh, like, part of the reason I wanted to talk with you is just to be able to um, reassure some of the commentaries from your last video who were, I, I got the impression a lot of people felt like I don't care about the game or, um, like, you know, along those lines. Um, and it's kind of sad to see people that have played, like, 2,000 hours leaving a negative review. And so yeah. I just want to be able to say, like, I do care a lot. And, I mean, Entern is kind of my life, and I want to I want to make a really good game for four, and I want it to be free, and I want yeah. to... Know, you want to make, make everyone happy, but it's it's not as easy of just like oh I'll just make 4.0. Like there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that goes into it. Yeah, yeah, I I, I get that. It's understandable. So yeah, I, I like I think I think that's everything. Like I wanted to like ask you everything I wanted to talk about. So I, I mean, if you want to plug anything, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, like check out uh, Zoom B on YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the best shitty YouTuber around. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate you reaching out. I appreciate you watching the video and not taking it the wrong way. I, I do care about the game. I do like the game. Like I've played it for years since like twenty. 14 so i'm glad that you you've answered a lot of the questions that many people have been asking and i hope to see 4.0 like take off like everyone is imagining that it will so yeah awesome thank you and i really appreciate you having me on the channel to kind of talk about these things <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> and i mean you're saying you still like the game even if you left the kind of uh critical thing but i definitely view it as 
if you're criticizing the game, you care about the game, and that's good. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to take it the wrong way or anything. It's like better to say something to like improve it than just say nothing at all and just you know like I don't know. Then you sleep. Or... Yeah, just be like, oh, I don't like it, and just go. Because <laughs> I get a lot of people on YouTube that are just like, this video is bad, but then they don't say anything on how to like, make it better. They just exactly. Leave. It's like, well, what what do you want to change? <laughs> What did you not like? Yeah. So from from one creator to another, like I I, I get you, I get you, fam. So, <laughs> well, it's it's been nice talking to you. I I'm gonna work on this video and hopefully have it up by Friday. Um, put in some more like callbacks to the first one, clear up any questions anyone else has. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get to editing it. I'll send you a preview. Let me know if you want any changes to it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to head out now. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to answer the questions and concerns that people have been having. And I hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Oh, well, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks. All right. You have a good day too. You too. All right. Bye-bye. See ya. Okay, um, that's it for the interview. If you guys have any questions about Unturned or the way it's heading and you'd like to have them cleared up, this video is supposed to start conversations like the last one did. Um, so yeah, if you have anything that you feel is a valid argument, please put it in the comments. And yeah, I, I'm really surprised that all of you guys came together to make both of these videos happen. Um, I really did not expect any of the support that I got. And if anyone's concerned, no, I'm not quitting YouTube. I am going to be branching out to different types of videos just so i'm not like doing stuff that doesn't genuinely entertain me but it's not like i'm going to be leaving unturned in any way um so yeah i feel like the future for the game is very bright i feel like the future for myself as a content creator is pretty bright and yeah that's everything i really had to talk about thank you all so much for the support i couldn't have done it without you and yeah i hope everything turns out great i am going to be changing my tank review to a positive one um if this interview was enough for you i encourage you to change yours to positive as well because ultimately that was the goal for my shitty half-baked meme get some conversation started get some people to talk about it and i guess it served its purpose so i'm going to be changing it to positive if you think your tank accomplished the same goal i encourage you all to change your tank back to positive as well in fact i even made a another text meme to symbolize that our voice has been heard and we did do what we set out to do if you guys want to see something that I've made that's not unturned. My second latest video is in a different game. So if you want to see how I do outside of the unturned environment, just hanging out with friends, that would be a good start. But yeah, that's it for this video. So hope you guys have a great day and I'm going to get back to making the best shitty memes around. Peace.